when I was out in uh, toward the end of my addiction, when I was at my worst, okay, um, uh, Amanda, my sister, had uh, had just recently passed away from a fentanyl overdose. And I was, I had nobody. My parents were both passed away. Uh, didn't know where my older sister was. My, my, the rest of my family had just completely given up on me. You know, turned their back, and rightly so. I'd burned every bridge. But I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just uh, wandering the hotels of Jackson. And this prostitute at the Oyo Hotel had these two dogs. And uh, one of them got sick, and she begged uh, Justin and I to take it to the vet. So I held this dog all the way to the vet and she gave us the money to pay for it. It turned out the dog had parvo mm. and they, they wouldn't let the dog go inside, but they brought the medicine out to it and we paid for it. But, uh, but I fell in love with this dog, man. And, uh, and Justin and I, even out in our darkness like that, prayed over this dog to live. But I fell in love with this dog and, uh, it was a little black dog, a little black dog with a white spot on his chest. I mean, I'm telling you, I fell in love with this dog. So about a week later, the dog died. And I just knew that this prostitute was going to give me this dog because she knew how lonely I was and how everything that I'd gone, I'd gone through. So I just had a feeling that if the dog got better, she was probably going to give it to me. Well, the dog died, and that made me angrier, yeah. you know, toward God because he just kept taking things from me. Kind of like you were t- saying earlier, he wanted to punish me, right? you know, for all that. That's how I felt toward God. Yeah. And um, so uh, not long after that, I got arrested and uh, did a year in prison. And I uh, got out, and several months later, I was kind of, you know, uh, throughout all that time, I was really always kind of really thought about that dog and missed that dog. It's like, if, you know, whenever the opportunity arises, I'm going to get me a little black dog, and I'm going to name it Spirit. Oh, wow. You know, my daughter Summer found these, this little dog on the side of the road. Uh, I know you've, you've been talking about a dog lately. He's like, uh, do you want to take a look at it? And he sent me pictures of this dog, and it was a little black dog with a little white, white spot. And uh, I bring her over now. That's yep. my dog. Yep. That is my dog. And I took and I looked at that. And so when when they brought her over, um, Summer, his daughter, put that dog in my arms, and she locked eyes with me, and I locked eyes with her, and we both. She chose me, and I chose her. And I named I named her Spirit. And if you know me, you know, yeah, you know Spirit. You. And uh, and and the way I looked at that was like, man, you just love me so much. Yeah. Uh, sure. To give me to give me that dog back that you right. that nobody knew about except for me you and I yep. and and you know I wasn't ready for a dog at the mo at that time.